Congratulations, you just declared yourself an accounting major, but now you have no idea what to do. Well, today I'm gonna go over five key critical things that you need to do once you declare yourself an accounting major. This video is gonna be a lot more dedicated to those that are still in college and just realize that accounting is like the best thing that ever happened to them, like it happened to me. And so I'm gonna go over five key critical things that you need to do while you're in college now that you declared yourself an accounting major. So. The first thing you need to do is that you need to conceptually understand your debits and credits. This is going to carry you not only through college and help you ace all of your exams and help you do really well. This is going to carry you throughout your whole career. Trust me when I tell you, if I would not have studied as much as I did and conceptually understood what my teachers or professors were trying to teach me in college, I would have really struggled my first year or two in public accounting, even though it was already really tough as it was. If I, what, if I didn't have a solid foundation and understanding of debits and credits, I would have really, really struggled in my first year, in my first year or two in public accounting. Also too, in your college career, conceptually understanding debits and credits and knowing how the normal balance of accounts, and hopefully you can watch all those videos on this channel where you can learn all this stuff, but I think conceptually learning your debits and credits is really going to help carry you forward, not only in your, not only in college, but also your professional career as well. All right. The second thing you need to do now that obviously you're acing all your accounting exams, you're getting all that stuff done. Great. The second thing you need to do, need to do, you need to get involved in your local accounting clubs and develop certain social skills and become a leader on your campus. I can't tell you enough how much being involved on the, uh, uh being involved in the clubs on campus helped me so much with my interpersonal skills, helped me with my presentation skills because, you know, when I was in college, I remember asking like the beta office side president back then. Well, I'm sure we still have beta office side nowadays. Your account, whatever school you're at, I'm sure has an accounting society or a beta office side club. I remember asking if I could be like the director of membership or something, just something to help me get more involved and help me kind of break out of my shell. Even though, you know, I've always been a kind of outgoing person, I was never really at school. I was kind of more reserved because, you know, I was kind of shy. I didn't really know anyone. I was a transfer student coming from a community college to a four-year university. So it was really difficult. And the assimilation and the transition from one school to another was really difficult for me. And being able to get involved in my local clubs on campus and take a leadership role really helped propel my, not only did I have a much better college experience, but also helped me find an internship after. But that being said, Building your social skills in college and your leadership skills is going to help you tremendously once you leave college. And you can build those skills, those social interpersonal skills, which really carry you forward in your career. You can start building them in college. So I highly recommend look, find out any local accounting clubs or bait off side, find out where they are, what days they meet. And start getting involved on campus. Again, not only is it going to make your accounting, your college experience much more enjoyable, you're going to build more friends, build more relationships, build more connections, but you're also going to build the soft skills that you need that, they're gonna, that are definitely going to help you in your career long term. The third thing you need to do, you need to get an internship <clears throat> slash job when you're in college. I had, an, I had an, a small accounting internship when I was in college, nothing that even really remotely helped me with my, with my accounting career once I graduated, but that's not the point. The thing that helped me the most in college that in my professional career was working at Chipotle for five full years, my whole college career, my whole undergrad, I worked at Chipotle rolling burritos and I cannot tell you guys how much that job helped me transition a lot of the skills that I learned. Sure, I wasn't rolling burritos when I got to a public accounting firm, but I was still talking to clients. I was still dealing with people. I still had other team members. I had managers I had to deal with. I had certain work that needed to be performed. I needed to show up to work on time. I had to deal with angry customers slash angry clients now, right? It's the same thing. I want you to, you know, it's funny. I was at h and I, I went to H&M the other day. I was like buying some clothes. I don't really shop too much, but you know, I like shopping every now and then. So I'm shopping, right? And this one young gentleman comes up and um, it's funny, I, I had like rung my clothes up and he literally was like, hey man, like what do you do for a living? <clears throat> Honestly, it was a little random, but you know, I, we started talking and I started telling him like, you know, I do X, Y, Z and he's an 18 year old guy, super young. And um, you know, he was telling me that, I, I, I don't know if he was like, you know, I'm not really in school right now. I don't really know what to do, you know, whatever, you know, but he's working, right? I'm like, hey man, look, you're 18. I think you're doing just fine. 
Okay. You're bu- you are working a retail job, in my opinion, retail job or fast food or something like that while you're in college and you're young and you're young is probably one of the best jobs you can have because of the sheer massive and the volume and the amount of people you talk to every single day. That's just going to help you. Obviously, if you're one of those people that don't really take your job serious and I don't care what you do, if you work at Chipotle like I did and helping customers roll burritos, whatever, if you're just like, Oh, Hey, how are you? How are you doing? What, what can I-? No, you want to be there and be like, Hey, how are you doing? What, do, what can you have today? Oh, you want a burrito? Cool. White rice, black beans, chicken, you know, uh, mild meat, hot sauce. I still know that stuff, right? But even when I was at Chipotle, I was grinding. I was learning. But I was mastering the interpersonal skills that I knew. I didn't really know at the time. I was just trying to be a good worker. But now looking back in hindsight and being able to analyze, man, why was I, you know, why didn't my career, professionally speaking, progress so quickly and it's because of the skills that I built while I was in college working at Chipotle having leadership skill having the leadership role on campus at my in my local community at school and also getting good grades all those three things coupled together really helped catapult my career professionally speaking once I graduated college so get get an internship while you're in college obviously you know once you can a little older or once you're more into your like third or fourth year, you obviously want to be looking for internships more so in accounting, you know, at a big firm. But when you're early on or you just declared yourself an accounting major, just get a job. I don't care if you, I don't, the, your financial perspective or where you're at financially, maybe your parents are taking care of everything. That's fine. I, I don't care. That has nothing to do with the fact that you need to have a job. The reason you need to have a job because you're going to need to be more responsible for a lot more things. And it's funny how, you know, you, you want something done, you give it to someone that already has 10 things to do already. It has a full plate of things because it's going to get done. And you learn to be a productive professional because of the sheer massive amount of things you need to do. And you learn to time management, how to allocate your resources wisely, just a bunch of different things on how to manage your social life. And, and there's so many things that having a job in college will benefit you other than just obviously, you know, the money that you're going to be making, you know, whatever. So I highly recommend you get a job that teaches you so certain social and certain interpersonal skills that are going to help you develop into a well-rounded professional after you graduate college. And the, the, well, the fourth thing is kind of, you know, get, um, it, it, I kind of mentioned it already in the third thing, but <clears throat> once you're a little bit more in your third and fourth year, you definitely want to start looking for an internship while you're in college. Your main goal in college should be to get a full-time job or full-time offer while you're in college. You don't want to be those people that, you know, oh, I'm just going to graduate and then figure it out after. That's not how this works. When you're in college, you need to be competing against people in your own realm because what ends up happening to a lot of people is that they graduate college and then they they end up, you know, whatever, waiting or taking a break or whatever. And then they want to hit, you know, the ground running, interviewing and all this stuff. But now you're competing with a bunch of different people that have way more experience than you do. If you want to maybe not work at a firm and work at a company, your, your competitive pool is so much larger because there's probably chances are there's someone that has five more years of experience than you do, has way more you know accolades on their resume than you do, and they're willing to take the same pay that you are at the at your position. So it's better that you get a job while you're in college because you, you are competing against other people in college. Usually when companies or firms are interviewing for a on for a position that's that's like an associate level or um for entry level per se, um, you're competing against other people in your college when they're when they're recruiting at your school. But after you graduate, it's a whole different paradigm. You're competing against so many other people that may have way more experience than you do, way be, may be more better equipped for the position at that point in time. You know, and that's just the way it is. So you wanna make sure that the fourth thing, you get a internship while you're in college, especially in your third or fourth year, you want it to really line up or coincide with where you're gonna work at full time after. I, for example, unfortunately, I didn't know all these things. I didn't know to get an internship in, in college at a firm. So I never had one. And luckily I went to meet the firms the November before I graduated in the fall. So, you know, I got my essentially job offer June. Uh, I'm sorry, November 13th, November 10th, 2013. And I started working literally and I graduated June 10th, 2014. So I got my job offer, what, six, seven months before I graduated. And then my start date was literally November 10th, 2014. So I got my job offer a year before I graduated. And that was the biggest blessing I think I could have given myself because my last six months, my last semester or quarters in college, they were 
I had a lot less stress on me because I already knew where I was going to be working. I knew I had to finish up college and it made college a lot more enjoyable at that time. So you want to make sure that, you know, during your third or fourth year, you really start thinking, okay, now I've been involved. I have, I've had a job. My social skills are great. I'm learning. I know debits and credits. I want to get a job at a firm that I'm going to be able to do the work that I'm going to be doing after I graduate so I can learn and hopefully get a full-time offer from, from a, from a firm. And the last thing that, you know, if I can go back in time, I think I would do, even though I took my studies extremely serious, I wish I had a little more fun in college. Honestly, there's a few things that I skipped out on that I probably should have gone to that, you know, I don't think would have hurt me in the long term. Again, everything has a balance, right? Like, don't, I'm not saying you need to go and freaking go to a party every weekend. I'm not saying that either. If you have responsibilities, you have finals, whatever, an exam, you need to study for that. But there are certain parts of me that wish I was even more social than I was my last year because I really didn't really blossom and fully immerse myself in who I am until my last year in college. And it's really unfortunate because, you know, that last year in college, I made connections with people because I was more social, because I went to certain events, because I went to certain things. There's still people I talk to today that I'm 30 years old now. I graduated at 21. There are people till this day that I talked to that I met my last year in college that I've had friendship with for so long that I've done business with outside of college and that's really helped me. And I would definitely say you wanna make sure that you enjoy your college experience. Obviously, you wanna make sure your grades and everything, those four steps are already done with. You already have a job, you got great grades in your accounting in your accounting classes. Um, you're focusing, you have an internship, you have a job lined up. Enjoy yourself in college. Really immerse yourself in the social aspect of it too because that's a big part of the, I guess, college experience per se. And you wanna make sure you get the best bang for your buck. So, uh, all right guys, it's gonna be it for the video today. If you found value in this video, please make sure to smash the like button below for the YouTube algorithm. Until next time, work hard, dress well, peace.